is our first stop for great Caribbean food on the Taste of the Caribbean's virtual shift tour 2021. Look out for more, but let's go in and join Courtney at the Caribbean Queen Buffet. Now this is the best part for me. This is all about the food, the taste, the atmosphere, and the conversation. We're back with TOTC, the virtual shift tour, and we're getting down to the grub. Courtney, yes. this is amazing. 22 yes. items in one buffet, yes. and everything has a Caribbean flavor to it. For the vegan lovers, the chickpeas, what are the main ingredients in it? Scallion, thyme, onion, Mm. garlic and it's it's how you do with what you have because that's our authentic Jamaican flavor because I love what I do I put love into what I do mm -hmm. I taste it and so that is why my food is lovely so yeah. for the meat lovers mm -hmm. there is a lot here too and I've tasted the goat we had a nice taste of a little bit of the chicken when you opened up the very first location one of the things that stood out to me the most was serving the schools. I started a program, No Child Left Behind policy, which means if the principal see a student that genuinely don't have lunch, we would feed them. So at any given day, they would send over two or three students and we would take care of them. Other thing that we did for the community again, is nobody come into my restaurant and walk out without eating it. Mm -hmm. Anything, any money you have, you get something for what you're coming with. Mm. And so these things that I do for the community is straight love. That's what it is. That, that migration from Jamaica to Canada, opening a business in Canada. What was that like for you? For me, it wasn't hard because I have the family support. Yes. My, my, I came here, my wife, 13 brothers and sisters. Mm. So they were behind me 100%. And so we could, you know, pool certain resources and make things happen. But it's very, it's, it's very, very hard for you to run a business in Canada and you don't have a strong financial backing. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I was talking to the minister just recently, because I was fortunate enough to be present when the Prime Minister was announcing this $250 million mm -hmm. for the black community. Yeah. I was one of the business that was selected. Mm. Yes, so I was in that seminar as a proud Jamaican black man. One of the things that I spoke about was the fact that we have systematic racism that is, exists within the institution, which disallows us to get funding. Right. And we know that. Yes. And so if you don't have a buffer, if you don't have a little line of credit to rock back on, mm -hmm. something like COVID hit you, you are finished. So we started this business and it was 100% financed by myself and some people around. So the support from the very beginning being there and then COVID causing the lockdown, I see it as a good thing because it gave you time to restructure, rescale, yes. Yes. and then reinvent. For me, and I say, for me, COVID was a blessing. Mm -hmm. For me, I was able to weather the storm through COVID. And what I did was just to, to do a whole different business structure. Mm -hmm. All brand new we website. I kind of moved some employees around. And so the business, we were able to feed the community more. We were so involved. Just last year, I did 2,000 meal. Wow. 2,000 meal for Thanksgiving. I gave away to the community. Yes, that was huge. And everyone in the community still talks about that. As you, as you grow, do you find that the changes that are needed to really expand yourself are affecting you in any way? Time to time, you have to change your business strategy. Right. Any good businessman know that, or any successful businessman know that. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you do something, it may be working to you, but might be able to take you to this level. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to go to this level that we're at now, I had to change my strategy to get that 100% customer service effect because we had complaints a little bit. So we fix it. We listen to the customer to make sure that we can take the business to a different level. This that you're seeing here now, we are just getting started. I want to take the West Indian food too. Yes. We want to be able to come in and sit down and eat a steak, eat a lobster, eat some mm -hmm. hog steel, eat some curry goat in the same plate. Well, you know, Courtney, everything tastes great. 
I want to say thanks to the entire community, community that has been serving me throughout the years. If it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't got this far by faith. And guess what? With your help and support, we will only get better and stronger. And I, I assure you, I'm there 100% to give back to my community. Thank you Lovely. very much. Lovely. Thank you so much, Courtney. The food is always impeccable. Best place you can go while in Toronto is right here. Caribbean Queen Buffet. This is location five. Go to location one and make sure you stay tuned in for the next episode right here on TOTC, the Taste of the Caribbean Virtual Shift Tour. Glad to be with you.